the approach to health is become totally different. It moves from the uh, physical interaction to plasma and to plasmatic interaction and then this way it's much, much easier to solve a lot of problems for, for the health part side. So, <clears throat> uh, you explain the bone as a physical part and these are the holes, these are the, where the blood cells come this is where the yellow bone marrow is. From the space technology point of view, health side, we look at what cavity leads to production of certain gravitational magnetic field that converts the plasma within the limb to the matter needed for the survival and production of the bone marrow of the red blood cells. Ask always a single question. How come nothing comes into the bone from blood cells, from blood point of view, from a, a different way, but this container continuously supplies everything out? Because when you look at the structure of the bone, the structure of the bone is a big sieve. And in that sieve, as the limbs pass through, according to the position of the lymph, according to the gravitational magnetic field of the environment, as the uh, lymph goes through, the material needed is converted and produced. And then you receive red blood cells in the bone marrow. There is no factory, nobody sitting inside the bone marrow and producing red cells, now is the blood of, uh, what do you call it, white cells. And now this is the lymph and now this is something else. So, the bone structure is a total gravitational magnetic field in the nano layers, exactly like a copper wire as we shown in the energy production. And when you put different energies together, different gravitational magnetic fields together in a specific way which the brain in the emotional part decides in totality of its work, then you understand the work of the bone. This goes back to a lot of people saying that man uses 5% or 10% or 15% of the brain. And then, when you look at the brain, why is it so big and no part of it is rotten? Because if you use 15%, the other 85% should be, it should be rotting away, because it's not used. All these parts of the brain, which physical part, which appears to man, is not used, is continuously monitoring most part of it, the operation, the production, and the running of the bone structure. major part, major part of the brain, the physical part, is for development of the frequencies, what you call to convert, of the whole structure, of the porosity, of the size, of the strands, of the movement, of every single bone in the body of the man, because without the bone, the emotional side cannot exist. Maybe for the first time, all these people who come with this nonsense that the body, the brain is not doing anything, functioning anything, it's just there, understand that a major part of the operation of the brain, the working of the brain, goes in to look after, reproduce a precise size, shape, position, strength, strand, within every single bone of the man. Because without the bone, there is no immune system, there is no blood cells, and the blood, red blood cells, are necessary for the heart, for the lung, to be able to transfer energy from the lung into the man. So, it is so vital for the brain, that controls itself without to somewhere else, because the emotional side 
as elia said the bone within the bone the red blood cells are created and as they pass along the emotional part of the body dies or cannot function correctly then you understand why even the emotional side has protected a bone we call the skull for itself. Then the whole structure, the whole understanding of the world of health changes in respect to the working of the bone. Every bone structure is a depository bank for certain need of the body at the point of the need. So, the brain knows what it needs, when it needs it, and it has to guarantee its own survival. So, the operation, a major part operation of the brain, runs on a daily basis, every second, in looking after, changing, allocating, converting, extracting, supplying the bone, material to the bone, and material from the bone for rest of the body. Now, the world of health, the world of bone structure looks totally different. And this is why in the Keshe Foundation, in the health side, they, they say or they tell us we do magic, so we just use water. Because if you can, send the right energy package which is getting absorbed and transferred through the intestine to the lymph to go through the bone marrow you control the boss, you control the base, you control the intestine so you can affect the rest of the chain work They tell us that you only use water and air, because you never understood the essence of the creation and the creation of the man. Through the water, we decide what goes through the bone structure to become your immune system, which in a way affects your own emotions, that affects your health. then the rest of the things we do around the body is just physicality adjustment. When I can control the energy level which goes through your lung, through the air you breathe, through the cups we provide, then I can give enough to the emotional side that it makes the right connection information to the lymph at the point of passing through the bone, to create the right immune system, the right insulin, the right material, for the rest of the body to live a perfect life. So, the physicians, the doctors who go and try to find different antibiotics and different materials to change the, uh, this disease and that disease, they start to understand. The production, the conversion, the strength of every fiber within the bone is decided within the intestine when you pass the energy through the wall of the intestine. Then you understand you do not need to feed food to the man because through the same plasma condition you transfer the right plasma in the right position by literally the water is a package gimmick to be able to transfer this plasmatic energy into the body to join the lymph. So, in most of the time, the people who have used that health technology of the Cash Foundation, I always tell them, when you breathe from the cups, the minute the air from the cup 
has touched your lips, the information and the energy is transferred. It's the same thing with when you drink the water. Because by the time you drink the water, the whole energy has passed through, instead of going through your intestine, to your body, through your, um, what do you call it, uh, the mouth already has joined your lymph operation. So, the bone structure needed to guarantee the survival of the emotional part. And it's so fundamental that, as I said, the boss has decided, I keep the control. The functions which are not important, but they're auxiliary, the body has decided to allocate the glands in different parts of the body, because it's too busy. But, the work of the brain is so important for it to be responsible for the whole bone structure. And now you understand very easily why in so many ways our emotion decides the shape of our bone, the size of our bone, the way we produce cells, the way we protect ourselves, the way we uh, decide the length of the life. So, when next time you look at the bone, just don't look at the physicality, it's there because it carries the gravity, or it's there to protect the heart. It's there, because the brain has decided, this is where I need it to guarantee my survival, and if it needs four legs, I put it, make it a donkey, if it swims in the fish, uh, in the sea, I don't need to give it legs, it's too hard to swim, two legs to swim, I join the two legs together, I call it a fin at the end. I always say, stand in front of the mirror, and look at yourself, You see a fish, with a split tail, you call it two legs. And you see two fins, side fins changed, otherwise there is no difference. And the same principle of working of the bone, is the same for a fish, for a man, for a donkey, or any creatures, which is dependent on the survival of the life, true bone structure. Otherwise, you'll be amib and in single cell. You don't need bone structure, but you still have intelligence.